and they're off in the Robert J. Frankel. She's Our Charm comes out running swiftly and Mucho Unusual showing her natural speed as well. She takes second as the field comes by the stands for the first time. Colonial Creed is taken in hand. Down at the rail, ride for the cause and never be enough is racing in between those two. Another two back to Miss Tehran, who is on the inside of Z-Drop. Altea is at the back of the field. She's our charm. Just going easily up top, leads by a length and a half to Mucho Unusual in second. That pair is followed by Ride for the Charm along the inside third, about four lengths off the lead. Colonial Creed is next, followed by Miss Tehran and Never Be Enough right together. Another two back to Z-Drop and Altea. On to the back stretch in the Robert J. Frankel Stakes. And She's Our Charm lets it out a notch, leads it by three now. Mucho Unusual is racing second. On the outside, Colonial Creed and Ride for the Cause. They leave room for Miss Tehran, who takes advantage of that spot. And Miss Tehran, with a bold move, comes right after She's Our Charm, past the half-mile pole. And Joel Rosario and Miss Tehran, the new leaders, as they round the far turn. She's Our Charm now in neck back second. Mucho Unusual, a three-wide third. Then it's Ride for the Cause, racing on the inside of Colonial Creed. Another two lengths back to Z-Drop and Altea, quarter of a mile to go. And here's Mucho Unusual, let loose on the outside. Miss Tehran at the rail, and in between them, She's Our Charm. There's a furlong from the finish, and Mucho Unusual up to take the lead from the back of the field. Never Be Enough is finishing very nicely, trying to run down Mucho Unusual late. Mucho Unusual, three quarters close to home, and Mucho Unusual wins the Robert J. Frankel. Photo for second between Never Be Enough and She's Our Charm, and that is three on the day for John Velasquez. Nothing unusual about that performance by Mucho Unusual taking the Robert J. Frankel with winning trainer Tim Miakteen. Class of the field, a grade one winner. Coming out of the Breeders' Cup, though, where was your confidence level in terms of today? Pretty high. She'd been straightforward. We had an outside draw. That was a little bit of a concern. Um, there was lone speed in the race. So, But she's such a dream to train, so easy, so straightforward. Um, she makes my job easy. It's so wonderful to see these talented Calbreds. I know it's a homebred for George Kerkorian, who's been a longtime supporter and owner of yours. What has she meant to the barn? She is consistent in graded stakes company and seems to always show up. Right, so she's my queen, you know. We don't have a big stable, but uh, she's, she's our queen. And for her, when you put spacing between her races, do you look far ahead as to what 2021 might bring for her or take her back to the barn? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we, we try and space her races out. We haven't made any plans, you know, whether the megahertz is going to be in, in the play or not. But we'll, we'll consider everything and just play it by ear. And you said you knew Bobby Frankel. Uh, yes. Any, any wonderful stories you can share with us to win this race in his honor? <laughs> you know something? I just love listening to them all. You know, it's so great um, to be able to win some of these races that are named after great trainers and um, it's an honor to be in the winner's circle in this race. Congratulations to you and your queen. Thank you. It's Mucho Unusual and the Robert J. Frankel.